Hey guys, welcome back for a new video. For a while I wanted to build a force team diorama on an actual log slice. So I did just that. Let's get to the build then, shall we? So to start this I'm gonna need to stabilize this slab first. For that I'm using these anti-slipping felts or whatever they are called. Next, I cut off XPS foam off the camera and glued it on the slab with hot glue gun. I got this insulation foam I regret ever paying for, using it as a rug face. Planning on roughly which object will be positioned where. Decided to put the tree on the rugs and the prisoner transport wagon on the left side of the road. Two knights escorting it up front. Ambushing archers taking place on the high ground. I'm modifying the foam pieces roughly and using the cutoff pieces as extra rocky terrain. I added extra rocks and pebbles off the camera. Once they all dried up, I started to carve and dig the road section, so the pebbles of the road I'll add later on will be leveled with the ground. To represent gravel of the road, I'm using active carbon granules. Painted everything in black and then started painting the road and the rock faces with various tones of grey from darker to lighter tones. Once that's out of the way, I covered it with PVA glue to apply the soil. To add color on the road section, I'm using these mud green and rust red weathering powders. And sprayed some IPA to help seal the powder. Finally, I applied two tons of static grass before I was done with the diorama base. These knights of this kit are originally made to hold their spears facing forward for a charging posture. I needed them to hold them up in the air. So I had to find a way for it. Simplest solution within my abilities was to add some sort of a hand there. For this I glued a piece of a toothpick and drilled a vertical hole where I planned to fit the spears in. And from there I sanded the excess material and turned it a rough fist shape. Then shortened the spear so it doesn't look all that high and awkward. Gave all the figures a black primer then started with painting the horses. While at it, I should mention that painting the figures and the horses took about an entire day. There are 4 horses and 10 figures in total making it 14 painting objects. Archers and knights are from the mini art kit I used before. You can find that video up there in the card section or in the description if you haven't seen that yet. The horses that pull the wagon and the figures on the wagon are Airfix's World War I Royal Horse Artillery Kit I bought and never used. I can't find any civilian looking horses or figures in the market in 70 second scale. So these horses and the figures from that kit are close enough for civilian use. I know back in medieval times red was a rich and expensive color, but I wanted these ambushing archers and the prisoners I painted off the camera had a color similarity in their uniforms. And since there will be a lot of greenery in the overall scene, red made them stand out in my mind. Once I was done with the figures, I started making the one tree I planned for this build. I made an armature from leftover copper wires and made it strong from black millipod. 
There is really no specific reason for why I use the black variant. I just don't use it often and there is much of it laying in the drawer. Before it dried completely I made some bark details and did the bulk of bark details with my Dremel for deeper crevices. I covered the entire thing in regular black paint, then applied various tones of brown, applied black wash heavily making sure they cover all the cracks and crevices. And finally dry brushed it with Vallejo Green Brown. I decided to use this polyester piece. I learned this trick from a YouTube channel, I'll leave the link in the description. You just need to patiently stretch it without tearing it too much. The more you stretch, the larger the coverage area. I tried making this with regular cotton. I wasn't successful since cotton sucks in any paint or glue you'd apply on it, whereas this does. Once I'm done covering the tree with it, I applied hairspray on it and dipped it in the flock bucket. Darker tone flock, then lighter tone flock, and finally I sprinkled finer, darker color flock to cover the gaps and saturate over look. On to the next object of this diorama, the prisoner transport wagon. I'm using steering sticks to build everything for this. First I'm making four wheels. Now I don't know if spoked wheels were a popular thing in medieval times but these were probably easier and cheaper back then and was easier for me to do as well, so I picked that design. With the help of Dremel bits I sanded the edges and drilled the middle. This is the first time I ever built a wagon. I checked some drawings and 3D renders to get a rough idea of what I'm doing. I just don't have the ability or the patience to replicate something exactly the way it's supposed to be, so I improvise the rest of the build. Once the wagon was done, I started building a cage to be loaded on the back of it for the prisoners. Looking at it now, it's a bit too spacey for the prisoners. It should have been half a centimeter lower. In real life scale, this would be about 3 meters high. Kind of a waste of a good iron, don't you think? I glued some jeweler beads to represent bolts and nuts that hold the iron pieces together. Before I started painting, I wanted to have two flagpoles. I made a pair of them out of toothpicks and leftover sticks. Once that's done, I painted the entire thing with Vallejo wood grain paint. And some new wood, old wood colors here and there to differentiate the overall look of it. I painted the cage in regular black and then applied some rust color weathering powder. Applied water down glue, then added some thin flock to represent some sort of hay on the floorboards. You can now understand why I mentioned about the civilian looking figures here. They don't have any armor, 
don't hold or carry any weapons, just people really. Although don't pay attention to the artillery ammo they are holding. It looks like, well, bread to me. Once all done and glued down, it's time to lock them up. Once everything dried on the base, I applied PVA glue on the bald spots that bothered me to add leftover flock I had from the trim. And of course, the tree had huge gaps underneath where it met the base, so I covered them up with some flock. Applied a couple of coats of hairspray on the base to help keep the vegetation stick better to their surroundings. Then I started putting on the ambushing archers, mounted knights and of course the transport wagon. With the wagon in its place, I'm all done. Let me know what you think about if the archers were successful in defeating the knights, if their arrows would have penetrated their armors or if they managed to free their comrades. I'll leave that up to your imagination. If you like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you all next time.